What's going on, everybody? James here, ReductionAgency.com. 21 years selling on eBay. And off to the post office. So it was kind of pointless to make a video this morning. eBay was so bad yesterday. So uh, thanks to uh, Mountain uh, Rocky Mountain Treasures, uh, he sent me a screenshot, tried to get into my store, and it would not allow him said please try again later or no service available or whatever the case may be um at that point we all knew ebay was jack for the day um so i called in and was able to send in the screenshot for the ticket etc etc but if you look at like the down indicator which i normally don't use that except as like the final nail in a coffin type of thing um, if you use that website and you see how much, how many people have called in compared to the baseline, um, it's kind of like adds you know, part of the ingredient to know how screwed up eBay is for a particular day or hour or whatever. Um, so it was off the charts all day yesterday. So clearly something was up and obviously with my sales, you could tell. So once I got that screenshot, I called into eBay and talked to a rep to open the ticket. And she said another big problem for the day was checkout. There was, she put in a lot of tickets, just her, one rep alone, put in many tickets for checkout issues. So if one rep at eBay is putting in many, you know that that's a huge problem because she's only one of the reps. So uh, definitely huge, huge issues on the website yesterday. And even through like probably like eight o'clock this morning, uh, there was a shutdown last night for about 11 hours. I could tell that with my emails and sales. Um, but so yesterday I only did a uh, $510. So pretty, pretty bad day. Um, probably that's when I only get to 500, that's my, that's the, lowest of my sale days and they're usually a big indicator of problems when my sales are that low so just to give you some reference we're at 946 this morning and i'm already almost at 400 dollars. so apparently whatever they did overnight and this morning seems to have worked for now but as you know with ebay this stuff's been going on for a year and a half. So don't expect it to last long. Take advantage of it while you can. Get some stuff listed and uh, get some sales while we can. Um, it's frustrating to know that a company like eBay, what are they, a billion dollar company, has let these problems and issues go on for so long when that is their key business, buying and selling on a website, yet the website will not work properly and hasn't for a year and a half but yet they keep adding all this new stuff on top of it like now you got the social media feed thing added so they just keep throwing more and more crap on top of the dog pile that already is there expecting well i don't know what they're expecting are they expecting the site to uh, fix itself <laughs> i mean or are all the like i kind of theorized before or all the top people in ebay just totally oblivious to what's going on with the this side of the product it's pretty uh pretty sad way to run a company like ebay to be honest with you so i don't know in my opinion the guy who's run it's either totally not for the job totally ignorant to the job or he don't know what's going on one of the two I, it can't be anything in between. It just can't. So, as bad as it is. So, I don't know. All I can say is we just got to... It's easier said than done, obviously. It's easier to feed the beast than to feed a broken website. When, we're go, when it comes to listing. Keep listing, keep listing, keep listing. It's easier when stuff's selling all day and some of the new stuff you're putting up is selling instantly. It's kind of hard to do that when you have errors just trying to upload your items, right? <laughs> and you know nothing's selling. 
So it's, I don't know. I, that's, that's the bad thing about it all is you don't see it getting any better being it's been going on for so long. But you're just hoping it does because that's all we have is hoping that something will happen to make them change what they're doing. Yes, I know. All right, let me dump the stuff. All right. So yeah, definitely being, I guess, almost $400 before 10 a.m. I don't see that very often. So it's 64 of that was uh, 19 cassettes that were bought yesterday, but paid for this morning. So 64 of that, but still that's a huge number for as early as it is for me. Uh, so there's the electric Mustang, which is an ugly car, but uh, yeah. So hopefully, what's today, Friday? Hopefully we'll have a freaking good weekend. Hopefully we'll have a normal weekend. And when I say normal, normal the way it should be, not the way it has been. So I should be doing $1,200 Fridays, $1,200 Saturdays, $1,500 Sundays. So uh, let's hope we get back there and put some gas. I had to take Jan's car because she wanted to put gas in it. So I guess I got to be the gas slave. Gas boy today. Gas boy. All right. Uh, I think that's it. I think, I think, I think. So, uh, yeah. Good weekend. Have a, if I don't see you guys personally, personally by meaning a talking video like this, have a good weekend of sales. I might have some uh, storage videos for the weekend. Uh, what Jan found a Goodwill video this weekend. Um, so if I don't have any pulling or shipping videos. I know, I think Adrian's going to the Battlehawks game Sunday, so I may have a pulling video Sunday. So, all right. So now keep listing. Let's get those sales or try to get those sales. Let's do our part to get those sales and hope eBay can do their part and keep the damn website running. All right. Thanks everybody. And I'll see you all in the next video.